So are you working hard to retire early by saving as much as you can, maybe even following the FIRE method? Now, there's no law that says that you have to work until you're 65, but there's also no reason you have to sacrifice your lifestyle to before then. What do I mean? The FIRE method is a good idea in theory, but there's one major flaw. And if you're not careful, it could force you to live like a pauper for the rest of your life, even in the retirement. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly what that flaw is and how to avoid it. So you can learn how to retire early, and discover how you can do that. And it doesn't really matter what's in your bank account. There's things you can do as an entrepreneur that you can actually accelerate that greatly. So stay tuned. Hey, my name is Michael Blanc, and I help people become financially free with real estate. The FIRE method, maybe you've heard of it, it stands for financial independence, retire early. Awesome. I love that tagline. And the strategy really is to save and invest as aggressively as you can so you can retire early, sometime in your early 30s or even 40s. And the way you do it is you save somewhere between 50 and 75 percent of your income and keep expenses extremely low, find ways to raise income over, over time, but not expand your lifestyle. So if you're making $100,000 right now, six figures, you'd be living off somewhere between twenty five dollars and $50,000 per year. And that's pre-tax, of course. You're maxing out your retirement accounts, you're paying off debts, and you're investing as much as you can. Now, there's three variations of the FIRE method. So there's people who don't cut back on expenses as much, but they work more. So maybe they work more hours uh, or they have a second job and they invest more. Variation number two is people who learn really lean. So they invest close to all of their earnings so they can retire even earlier, right? And then the third variation is people who want the best of both worlds so they can live on a mix of their savings and working part-time somewhere. And that's typically three variations of a FIRE method. Now, this strategy really only works if you're making six figures a year, right? Because you're already now work, uh, living on twenty-five dollars to $50,000 of gross income right now. And, you know, the other th question you have to ask yourself, well, first of all, does it work? But number two, would you enjoy the lifestyle, right? Would you enjoy on li living on less than half of what you earn? Would you enjoy living on $25,000 a year? What that can that buy for you? And here's the other reality. And I love idea of saving yourself to retirement. But the honest truth is that, gosh, most Americans aren't that disciplined. And in fact, if you look at the statistics, the vast majority of Americans only save about $200,000 by the time they're 65. And that is not enough to retire off. But here's what we all want. We all want to retire early. We're looking for financial freedom and then we don't want to run out of money in retirement. We don't want to live as paupers. We actually want to live the life we want to live and do the things we want to do. And achieving that goal is almost impossible if you follow the FIRE method because not only are you living like a pauper right now, okay, so you can retire early, but then when you're retired, you can't actually live off what you save. So you have to continue living almost like a poor person. There's this 4% rule, right? So you can liquidate about 4% of your assets to live off of, so you never deplete the principal. So think about it. If you want $80,000 a year, okay, so that's $80,000, which is not unreasonable in today's age, you have to have $2 million saved up, right? How long would that take you to do, right? And then can you live on that 4% that you saved up? Yeah, I was thinking about the same thing in, in my very early 30s. I was like, man, I spent like 10, 12 years working on this. I couldn't see myself working another 30 years. And I enjoyed my job. I was in a software startup, so I was working long hours. And I was like, man, I can't do this another 30 years. Like, there's got to be another solution. And I considered saving myself to retirement. And I did this math I just shared with you. I was like, man, I, I can't get there from here. Like, it's going to take me too long. And of course, then you read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Awesome book. Plants the seed in your mind about uh, becoming passive income, financial independence, and it uses confusing words like cash flow business and real estate, right? So you're like, my gosh, okay, cool. I got to use one of these things to get myself there. And of course, you think about, I'm going to flip my way there, or you know, you're going to flip these houses and you make money. But as you now know, it's it's not really very passive. It's very active. You're not buying, selling, and fixing and selling houses. You're not making money. And then when you say it, when you sell the house, there's no money flowing. You're like, oh, I have the solution. I will build a rental portfolio, right? And that's pretty cool. But have you ever sat down to think about how many houses you need to actually retire from? Like I did the math back in the day and that this is like in the you know mid to 2000 after the recession, I can maybe get a house to cash flow of 150, 200 bucks if I'm lucky. If I want $10,000 a month, which was my income and lifestyle at the time, well, I needed 50 houses to get that. And I had just flipped like three dozen houses and it was insane to me. This took me three years flip threes and houses. Now, how am I going to build a portfolio of 50? How long will that take? And, and how much management would that take? Like that was insane to me. And so this is kind of when I got into apartments kind of accidentally in 2011, when a small apartment building about 12 units uh, was, was kicking off about $1,500 in mailbox money. That's kind of where the flip switched, right? So in my mind, the solution, whether an active investor or a passive investor, 
is not traditional routes, okay? It's not the saving you what they'll investing in the stock market ETFs. No, it's, it's alternative methods. And so this is really what I want to tell you about is you really got to think about alternative methods. You have to study the people that actually become passively uh, independent, that, that quit their job, become financially independent. And so to me, and I've done a lot of stuff, I've done software, I've done restaurants, lost my shirt in restaurants, I negotiated short sales, I actually traded stocks and options for a while, I flipped houses, I wholesaled a few houses, I had a couple rental, a few rental properties. And to me, the one thing that has worked is apartment investing. What if four videos could give you everything you need to build $10,000 a month in passive income in as little as 180 days? I've proven it many times over and so have hundreds of other people just like you. And one of the best ways we discover to reach financial freedom is by investing apartments. Now, I know that sounds like super advanced, but the truth is you can get started today. You don't need years of investing experience. You don't have to have millions of dollars in the bank. So register for the free masterclass Apartments 101 today and take that first step and to really discover how you can build true wealth for yourself and your family. Let's do this. And it's by far faster than any other method, including the FIRE method, right? So because with a small a so small apartment building deal, it was kicking off $1,500 a month. Now, that did not cover my lifestyle time, but it was only a 12-unit building. And I had learned the art of raising money, small first, a little bigger. And so if you can buy something small, okay, let's say I'll just make it up you you get a vending machine. You read online and you read all about vending machines. You're like, oh, I'm going to get into vending machine business, which is very hard to scale. But let's say you do, you can buy a user for 1500 bucks. Now, maybe you get that laying around. Maybe you don't. But like, I want to buy another, another. At one point, you're going to maybe raise some money. Once you learn how to raise money in a small way, you can start raising more money. And this makes it relatively easy now to get into a larger and larger assets. And like I said, it's very difficult to scale the vending machines, right? Kind of like it's very difficult to scale single family houses, but what's much easier to scale is apartment buildings. Because I can go from a 12 to a 20 to a 50 to 100. And in four deals, I have way more cash flow and I have way more wealth than I can ever do any other way. So the true solution to this is not to save away there. Honestly, I feel fire method is stupid. It's so dumb, okay? And it's actually wrong. It's wrong to live like a poor person, okay? Just so that you can retire early, which is cool, but then you actually can't deplete your principal because then you run out of money in retirement. That's stupid. Don't do that. Why don't you build real wealth? Build real cash flow. And the way to do it is with apartment buildings. So check us out. All we do is how we get into small apartment buildings, how to raise money, how we scale that up. We've got systems out there that works for, has worked for so many different people. And I just want to show you kind of what I'm talking about. I have this free resource. It's just called Apartments 101. It's four videos, okay? You just have to give us an email address. Four videos, and you can see what I'm talking about. I go through why apartment, why single family house investing won't actually scale to get you to financial freedom and how you can get started with apartments, even if you don't have any kind of experience at all and you don't have a bunch of money in the bank account. So I feel very strongly about this as you can. So don't save yourself, deal. Don't invest in the stock market. Get in apartment buildings right now.